Hello there folks and how is it going and welcome back to another video. Tonight we venture to the cosmos. <laughs> uh, well first we need to get some housekeeping done uh, out of the way first because it's been a while since I have uh, set up the star tracker so I need to reacquaint myself with that first and foremost. Um, and then secondly I also need to figure out what I'm going to photograph. Now, the eagle-eyed among you who follow along on Instagram may have seen a story uh, yesterday which is like foreshadowing at its finest. And that's ultimately what we're looking to achieve tonight is to try and photograph Orion. To take you way back, way, way, way back, first nebula that I seen photographed on the internet and like saw a YouTube video about how it was done, I think it was the infamous Ian Norman uh, released a video years ago all about photographing Orion and post-processing the uh, photograph and as try as I may back then I just it was a complete disaster but tonight is my redemption. First and foremost what I need to do is get very reacquainted with the Skyguider Pro and then we are going to set that up and then we are going to try and figure out how we're going to photograph Orion. So First things first, let's set up the gear. Okay, so as you can see, we have got everything set up, which is wonderful. I have decided to use the counterweight just because I didn't use it the last time I was in, and I'm curious to see if it makes any difference. My original intention was was to shoot with the 100 to 400 to get a real tight field of view of just the nebula in Orion. But I think the Tamron 100 to 400 plus the A7 III that I have, it, I think it's too heavy. Uh, even with the counterweight, I couldn't find a happy balance. So what I have done instead, I ended up then finding, looking at, like to photograph Orion at different focal lengths, came across this website called Telescopius. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's an absolutely wonderful website. Maybe I can overlay like a bit of a walkthrough on how to do it. But what you can do is, is you literally enter in a bunch of information. First of all, you enter in what you want to photograph. Then you enter in the sensor size, the focal length, the f-stop, all that kind of stuff. And it then gives you an idea of what you can capture in your frames. You can see shooting at 75 millimeters at f2.8, I should be able to capture a scene like this. <laughs> Which, even if I got it and it looked like what's on the screen here, it would be absolutely tremendous. So the idea is that I'm going to shoot in a portrait orientation and then try and recreate what you see on the screen there. So I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but hey, let's, uh, let's try and find out. But a wonderful, wonderful resource, that website. I'm going to pop a link down in the description. Uh, but for now, um, everything is relatively balanced. But what I will do is, obviously, I need to wait for Orion to appear. Then I will go outside and I will then polar align the star tracker and then I will point to Orion and I will take many photographs. So let's, let's, uh, let's head outside and see what we can see. Cool. So folks, I hope you can see me okay here. I've got my phone set up in a very precarious uh, position uh, to try and illuminate me. You know what's so wonderful about tonight's shoot is that I am literally standing right outside my door. <laughs> so that's kind of really the main aim of the game is, is to see if I can photograph Orion from my doorstep. I'm going to turn you around because over there that light you see is the camera. And I can already see Orion up in the sky. You are definitely not going to be able to see that. You might see a couple of twinkles. Let me go back to the light here so we can see each other. So, but the first thing that I need to do, if you remember from the previous Astro video, we need to polar align the Sky Guider Pro. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So let's uh, get that set up and let's go from there. Okay, I have this app 
I think it's called Star Walk. Anyways, it's an absolutely fantastic app. It just basically enables you to look at the night sky in a wonderful, wonderful way. So as we can see here, this is Orion just across from where we're standing here now. Hello there, Mr. Orion. But what we're going to look for is Polaris, which is essentially North Star. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's Santa Claus flying through the sky. <laughs> It's gas. Anyway, but we need to find Polaris. So let's aim this bad boy up to towards Polaris and um, at least we will have a firm understanding of where it is and then I will bring the camera and the star tracker over. So let's do that first. Okay, so I have typed in Polaris. As we know, there is Orion and we can see an arrow at the top of his head. I need to then follow the arrow. And there is Ursa Minor. So we know that Polaris is at the base of the bear's foot. So what we are going to do now, this is actually going to be very interesting because this will be the first time that Polaris will be behind me when I'm looking to photograph in the opposite direction. So challenge accepted. Let's set up and let's see if we can polar align correctly. I think I have polar aligned successfully. It's a bit difficult because the way Polaris is, is that way. And you can see there's a fairly big light there. So it's bleaching out the sky a fair bit, but thankfully with the app, and then I have a like polar alignment app as well, which kind of replicates the reticle that you see in the sky guider itself. Uh, so I've, you know, <laughs> I've tried. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually gonna pop the camera on and do a test shot and just to see if uh, if it works great if not then obviously maybe i need to adjust a little bit more so let's pop it on have a test shot and see how we go hello we are back i always wanted to try do one of those you know cuts where it's like you're looking at the screen and then it's like boop we're back in the editing suite I wanted to just pop in here because what ended up happening and I didn't end up explaining myself very well because I just got too excited. I ended up actually getting the 100 to 400 back onto the camera and balancing it correctly. At least I think I balanced it correctly. I still need to learn the kind of like fine tuning and nuances of kind of balancing and polar alignment and like all that kind of fun stuff. That's all still like learning for me. I ended up kind of just getting carried away with myself. So that's why I'm popping in here now, just to kind of give a slight bit of context to that. Let's jump back into the video and, uh, and then I will see you now uh, with this future self in a moment to kind of uh, close it all out. So let's keep going, okay. Okay, folks, I can't lie. My mind is completely blown right now. Never in my life would I thought I would ever take a two minute exposure at 400 mils looking into the sky. It's incredible. So test shot is done and I am gonna set it now. Two minutes, I have it set to take 70 pictures. So what, maybe two, two hours or so, two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is set that up to start running. And then I'm gonna probably just go to bed, set my alarm, come down, and then I will take some dark frames uh, when I come down. But for now, I am absolutely over the moon. I can't believe it. It's absolutely incredible. Well, folks, I, the feelings that I have right now are immense. Like I'm texting Dan here at the minute and I, cause I just showed him the picture. I was just, just sat here laughing to myself. I spent the last hour, just over an hour or so, putting it all together. I, I, I cannot believe that I'm after creating something like this. I, I just, I can't, I'm just I, like, I'm gonna stop because I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I'll show you the picture and then I'll ASMR photography lab uh, after this <laughs> has soaked in. So prepare yourselves for some smooth, buttery goodness all over your ear holes. And, um, and then I'll see you after. Okay, 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 cool, cool.
Welcome friends to the ASMR Photography Studio and welcome to space. <laughs> I cannot believe this picture exists on my hard drive and it is something that I created. I'm sure you could gather from the giddiness from the last clip just how impactful this is for me. My heart absolutely sank when I went back out to the camera at half two in the morning and found the front of the lens completely covered in condensation. But as you can see, it hasn't really affected the level of detail in the final image. I have wanted to create images like this for years. And while Orion's nebula is a simple enough target to photograph because it is so bright. There is still some dynamic range that needs to be taken into consideration. And during the post-production of this image, I was able to use some of those base layers to bring back the brightest part of the nebula. The level of detail, everything about it just came together. My mind is awash with the possibility of other nebula and just distant galaxies that I can photograph. I am so looking forward to what this Sky Guider Pro can offer me as a photographer. Magic. Well, folks, I really, really hope you enjoyed that video. I know the, the one image that I captured was at the end of the video, but I really hope I was able to explain myself well enough through the process. I know I covered a lot more in depth in relation to all the technical nuances in the first astro video that I shot, but I, I, I'm, I can't believe, I'm still in total shock at the picture uh, that you all just saw. And I am just so, so happy with how it turned out. I just, it, it's, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, but I'm gonna I'll keep it short now because I don't want to linger too long. So as usual, if you liked the video, then absolutely do please give it a like. And of course, as always, if you want to follow along for more adventures, then please do hit that subscribe button. There are many, many things in the works and plenty to look forward to for uh, 2024. I may get a video out before that, but let's see. We'll see, we'll see. But anyways, have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you before that. And um, cheers. Take it easy, everybody.